Every day I drive over a bridge that takes me into Fort Monroe. And I'm constantly reminded that it's the site where the first Africans in English North America arrived. And in a lot of ways it gives me goosebumps because I, I think about my ancestors. Maybe one of them were part of that experience. How did it feel to be a member in that ship, having traveled the oceans and being cooped up and, and not being in your homeland? What were they thinking? Could I have withstood some of the, the, the challenges that they had? These are people who were experts, were skilled, were family members, were persons who uh, were involved in advanced nation states who were kidnapped, who were taken. I don't think I'm, I would have been tough enough. They had to be some real tough people to endure the things that they went through to make our nation uh, what it is today. By the time we get to those beautiful words, we the people in order to form a more perfect union, that whole concept, the whole little catalyst starts when they are arriving here on the shores. It's incredible that at the exact site in our country where the first people were traded this property is the exact site in our country where the first people were not returned as property. And that space would eventually be called Freedom's Fortress. And 150 years from that moment, the very first black president, with all the power given to a president, made it his very first national monument. So this is the arc of history, which we have at Fort Monroe, that needs to be brought forward. We want people to return to the sacred hollowed ground in 2019 and to feel as if they're walking on the same ground that those Africans walked on, who really became the mothers and fathers, along with the founding fathers, of what would become America. I really feel that we can make some great strides in bonding us together as a nation, because we all have a piece of the rock, and that rock being there at Fort Monroe. I think there's a tremendous sense of pride that I, as well as so many other Hamptonians have. This city was founded in 1610, and just nine years later, we have the arrival of these first Africans. And so, for the greater part of our history, we have been a multicultural community. Our job is to talk to our friends and neighbors and remind them they have a civic responsibility to participate. The 400th anniversary is for everyone white, black, and green, tall, whatever. This is an American story, period. It's an American story.